Michael, Michael Santoli. So will the injection of stimulus money drive more retail investors into the market? A new, uh, according to a new survey from Mizuho, 10% of stimulus checks may go toward Bitcoin and stocks. That's nearly 40 billion, says Mizuho, of the 380 billion of direct stimulus checks. Here now to explain further, let's bring in Dan Dolev of Mizuho. Dan, how are you? It's good to have you with us. Always a pleasure being here. Thank you. How, how, ma how many people did you survey and what is their average income? So we surveyed about 200 people, slightly over 200 people. We kept the average household income at $150,000, right? Because we didn't want to get the people who are making too much to not get the stimulus, right? So um, we kind of hit it right where the stimulus is hitting. And the interesting thing is we got about an 85% response. Which but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. $150,000 is at the very high end of, of the stimulus for a, a, a household of two individuals. A person making $150,000 a year is not going to get one of these checks, if I understand it correct. This was just the survey, the premise. I think the average household income in the survey was about 55000 was 55,000 but then what's the 150,000 I'm sorry to hook to hang up on this but but what what you, I thought you just said 150,000 no we capped the kind of when we send out the survey we capped the so if you were making above $150,000 you're not included in the survey anyway and about 15% of the people we surveyed you asked the question 15% of the people we surveyed actually opted not to or said that they're not getting any income so we basically hit only people that expect to get stimulus check uh, this week. So it's it's a very clean survey from that perspective. I see. But so so it was 200 individuals with an average household right. income of $55,000 and what percent of them say they are going to put it into into bitcoin or stocks? I find it hard yeah. to believe. Yeah, we were we were very surprised as well. So it's about uh, the expected you know, percent is about 10% of overall. So 60% of the people we surveyed that are expecting to get a stimulus check, they said that they're not going to invest anything into Bitcoin or stocks. 40% said that they expect to uh, invest uh, something, right, ranging from anywhere from 0 to 20%, 20 to 40, 40 to 60. So if you take the overall expected investment, it amounts to about 10%, which is $40 billion, given that the direct checks in total are about $380 billion. Off the top of your head, what percentage of individuals with the average income of household income of $55,000, what percentage of those people own Bitcoin or stocks now? Do you know? um, that's a good question. And I, I don't know the answer to that, but I, I do know that, you know, the people I think that, it's extraordinarily that... small, Dan. I think it's really, okay. really small. I think something like 98% of the stocks in this country are owned by the top 10%. Uh, of, of income earners. So I would think that 55, right. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to be aggressive no, here, no. but I'm just, I'm just blown away by the idea that someone earning $55,000 a year who presumably needs this money to pay for groceries and childcare and, and gasoline and housing uh, is going to put money into Bitcoin. Hey, I was very surprised as well. And that's why we came up with it today. I mean, those are the <laughs> Results. It's actually 60% yeah. of those of those individuals said that they were going to buy Bitcoin. Only 40% are going to invest in stocks. So Bitcoin is even bigger, a bigger investment vehicle, surprisingly to me and my team as well, than stocks. But hey, you know, we right. sanity check the numbers. And you know, either way we look at it, the numbers are very, very consistent. For example, let me give you like an interesting statistic. If you have three people in your household, you're expected to spend about 19% of your check on you know, on stocks and Bitcoin. So the amount of investment going to stocks and Bitcoin actually increases from one person, so from a single filer to a joint filer to three people, and then drops down if you're four or more. So that tells me, for example, that if you have like four, you know, four individuals, say two kids and a, you know, a couple, then uh, you really need the money and you're not going to spend as much money on this. So it actually all passes sort of the sniff test mm -hmm. and made a lot of sense to us if you know, once you dig into the work. So we've done a lot of work on sanity checking. I know it's surprising, but it is what it is. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.